The San Francisco Zoo was closed to visitors again on Thursday as investigators tried to determine if there was human involvement in the escape of a tiger that attacked three visitors, killing one. The tiger, a female named Tatiana, was shot and killed by police officers during the attack Tuesday evening. The three victims were attacked on the east end of the 125-acre zoo grounds near Ocean Beach. Local police have opened a criminal investigation to determine if someone had a hand in the tiger's escape. We want to ensure that we gather all evidence so that in the event that there is any human involvement in the situation, that we can have the evidence to determine that. The San Francisco Chronicle reports police are looking into the possibility that one of the victims may have climbed over a fence around the tiger enclosure and then dangled a leg or arm over the edge of the moat. Sources suggest that pine cones and sticks found in the enclosure could not have landed there naturally and may have been thrown at the tiger, thus agitating her. At the National Zoo in Washington, D.C., a zoo curator says the tiger's reaction is typical when large felines feel the need to protect their environment. When you put their food in, they're going to be very protective of their food. That's, you know, you have your dogs and cats do the same thing um, at times. So again, it's what they would naturally do to protect their environment, their food, you know, their space. One San Francisco Zoo official insisted the tiger did not get out through an open door and must have climbed or leaped out. The tiger's enclosure is surrounded by a 15-foot wide moat and 20-foot high walls.